We don't typically have um, drug overdoses that happen within the correctional facility. Until now, within two months, two inmates at the Kent County Correctional Facility died of drug-related incidents. She ingested it outside of here. Danielle Plunkett died in June with methamphetamines in her system. Renee Heiss died in August. The toxicology reports are not back yet, but under Sheriff Michelle Young says they have reason to believe that her death was tied to opiates. The death of these two women illustrate two different battles the jail faces. Those who take drugs outside the jail. It is what it is. Most of the people who come to correctional facility, and when I say most, not everybody, but a large majority of them are impaired in some way when they come here. And those who smuggled the drugs inside. It is very, um, very difficult to detect drugs that are in small doses, in small amounts coming into the correctional facility. Neither issue is a new struggle, but the opiate epidemic has made it more acute. So obviously in that regard, it's significant. It puts an upward pressure on our resources in the correctional facility. It's unclear how Heiss got the drugs, but her family says they were told Renee was found with a pipe in her possession. It's going to be important for us to know how it happened so that we can do our best to prevent um, the same circumstances from happening again. The facility conducts body scans and uses drug dogs 24-7, but in order to conduct a thorough search. I would need a search warrant for a body cavity search for every person walking in the door. As for Daniel Plunkett. Because it didn't happen here, we can't really investigate anything more. Plunkett's husband, Max Demarest, believes his wife would still be alive today if the facility did their job correctly. We shipped her off to the hospital as soon as we had indication there was a problem. Both of these women struggled with addiction, but they were also daughters, wives, and mothers to small children. The answers are difficult in this. The answers often are with a person whose own behavior caused their death.